Hello, YouTube. We're back! Yeah, yeah, we're better than ever. We're better than ever because we have ammo, and ammo makes us better. Bigger, better, stronger. But it's now daytime, and we're still in the town, and this was going to be a night raid, and now it's daytime, and we're still kind of here, and we're just kind of, like, cruising around and seeing what's what's up. W what's up, guys? You going to eat me? Probably. You're going to try. It's all these slimes, these damn slimes. We could have had, like, so many more, like, weapons and stuff from killing the, uh, the soldiers if they hadn't gotten slimed. But I think we got enough. We got, like, some of those, those vests, and I think we can disassemble them into what we need to make our survivor suit, I think. I did want to see if I could check out this antique store, but I'm pretty sure that's a bad idea. So let's try anyway, because bad ideas are fun ideas until you die. Um, and then they're still fun, but like with more death and that that's that's not as good uh, No, not under the window frame. I was trying to break you with my claw hammer. What happened or my claw my claw? Um, okay, let's let's have a drink while we're here. That's that sounds delightful. Okay This is a crappy basement it appears. Oh, here's some stuff uh, Not much stuff coffee maker. Um, guess we want that I suppose get a lot of a lot of good things out of it at least Okay, what's in here? Bathroom. Ah, uh, pretty crappy basement. Battle hammer, 20k. Mm. A leather jacket's a nice one. And a pair of knee-high boots. Those will both give us lots of leather. There's a zombie here to join the party, so we're just gonna, like, put him on the other side of that door. That's fine. You can just hang out, hang out there. Get some rice, I guess. Rice is good. Rice is nice, right? Rice is nice. Oh, man. I'm so clever. Um, there's another coffee maker that I do not want. I'll take some beer, though. Because um, even all the whiskey in the world doesn't quench my thirst for beer. Um, string. Still feels weird to me that I'm not taking all the ammonian bleach. But we're not going to mutate this, this run. Look at this. That's like... An ice cream... Oh, that's an ice cream truck. I was going to be like, two more RVs, but that's totally an ice cream truck. Which is cool, though, because, like, ice cream trucks are, like... Oh, wait. That's a food truck. They're both, like, food trucks. I was going to say, like, the ice cream truck's one of the few places to get a freezer, but I see both of these have freezers. So, I should, like, mark that and say, like, two freezers. Because we might theoretically want freezers someday. I don't know. They're sometimes useful. So, like, there are an awful lot of zombies around here, um, but, like, less than you might expect from a town. So, what do we do? Um, I think we, like, go this way, and then through there, thanks to our, our lovely little claw device, and then we kind of, like, come out this way. And, uh... That antique store has a back door. That's a good sign. If it has an, a back door and we can get in the front door, then we have an escape route. So let's be, like, super risky, and then we'll notice that there's a shocker there. And then we'll try to decide if, if a shocker there means we shouldn't do it. And then we know it does because, like, we're careful and smart. Um, so... Um... 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 Hmm... What's in here? Drinking glass, bowling ball, ceramic cup. Ooh, an engagement ring. That'll that's really fancy. We want fancy things. We want that engagement ring. We're fancy. Um Can't be fancy without an engagement ring. That's the rules. The beer made the rules up and the beers made the rules up and the, the rules stand. So let's let's do this. Let's get our fancy engagement ring. There's a sword. Uh, and a cowbell. And a, a baseball bat. We have, like, swords and we have baseball bat, but we don't have a cowbell. Um, engagement ring. That's the prize we came in here for, truly. Uh, and that's a hollow cane. And what, what are you? You're an acetylene lamp? I mean, we have a ever ever burning torch, so, like, screw you, acetylene. Um, so let's wield our bat, because that'll help us break the, so the sword out of its container, and then... A dull, cheaply made replica. Oh, you, 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 you fooled me again. Dull, cheaply made replica. Now let's leave. 
How about... Um... Yeah, okay. So... So, so we're okay. We're okay. We did it. We did it. We escaped with our, with our bacon and also our skin. Both bacon and skin are intact. And I don't think there was anything too worthwhile in that antique store, so I'm just going to mark it off. We got the engagement ring. That's what matters. Um, what are you? You're a bookstore, not a library. Okay, well, that's some, something. And uh, dense urban. I love dense urban. There's two, two, two sets of dense urban there. Um, there's this garage. I mean, we don't care about garages, right? Like, we, we already have all the mechanics stuff. What do we want? We want a hacksaw. We really want a hacksaw. We might just end up getting our fabrication up high enough and getting our anvil together and stuff and building our own hacksaw. I think that's kind of where we're at this game. We're going to, like, be, like, DIY hacksaws. Um, what else do we want that, that we don't have? I think we have the stuff we need to make the suit. So that's good. Um... I can't think of much else. I think we're in a pretty good spot right now. I mean, there's there's obviously there's 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 always good stuffs to be had, right? Like it's it's not like you run out of things to get just because you have all the important things, but like But but yeah, we're doing okay. We just need to like run back to our RV and then go home, I think. I think I think it's it's home time. Probably should have been home time as soon as the sun came up, to be honest, but you know. We decided to, to, to take our usual risky approach and penetrate town in broad daylight to go to an antique store and get a, a, an engagement ring so we can wear it on our, our, our finger and pretend that someone loves us. And that's what it's really all about, you know? It's about having something that can be a symbol of the love that you can pretend you have. So let's do that. All right. Tools? Well, yeah, like, uh, I think the only tool... I guess we don't have a screwdriver set. We only have a basic screwdriver. Um, but we have a wood saw. We have a wrench. We have, uh... We probably need a chisel. I don't think we have a chisel. Um, really, the hacksaw, though, is the most important tool we're missing. We have a hand drill. That's fine for drilling things. Uh, we have a bottle jack. Uh, we'd love to find a garage that has, like, a crane just sitting there, but, like, I mean, whatever. Like, we can make a crane. That's fine. We need some pipes for that, though. Be good to, good to get some pipes. There's a corrosive zombie down there, eh? What else is down there? Another corpse site? What do you have for me? Uh, caffeine pills would be nice, but not, not super important. A little bit of ammo, sure. Baseball bat, yeah. Zippered bag full of heroin. Could be very useful someday, but not useful enough to take on a pile of zombies, including a corrosive. Oh, two Migos. That's right, there's Migo towers around here. I forgot about that. That's the other thing, by the way, guys. Like, you were mentioning about how there weren't that many humans around. But like there totally are a lot of humans. It's just that they're 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 trapped inside the two Migo towers. Like right here, there's there's uh um oops. I wanna wait until I get some armor, you know? But like there there's Palmyra Ah, stupid mouse drag. Palmyra good. Rod Rev Kona, Kohler. Ah, stop it. Just just stay where I put you. Um Bradley Poison Cervantes. Oh, that's a hell of a name. That man is named Poison Cervantes. Wow. Damien Cyber Bledsoe. APIs, whatever the hell that is. Jessica Perkins. And Angela Ames. So there's lots of potential, like, minions. I mean, I mean, I mean, partners in, in the Cataclysm for us to, to acquire, I mean, rescue. Yeah. We're gonna rescue, we're gonna rescue some slaves. I mean, I mean friends. We're going to rescue some friends from the Migo Towers. And there's two of them. So that that's, that's going to be a thing we do eventually when we feel like all mighty and strong. But for now, we're going to go home. Because home is where the cow is. And the cow is, is home. 
They're most likely filled with humans, and more importantly, desperate humans. Oh yes, I do enjoy desperation, especially when it doesn't come from my own brain. External desperation is, is the best kind of desperation. Oh right, is this the place that I thought like had some stuff I wanted? No, that was down there. So so what's this place? Oh, this uh this feral human has an axe. He's an he's an axe man. Um Copper rings? I don't know. Copper's kind of, yeah, Not very fancy. Okay. We really should have got a cowbell. You know? Like, I'm just thinking to myself, like, we were in that antique store. There were not, not one, but two cowbells in the antique store. And what we could have done with that cowbell, guys, like, what we could have done, we could have put the cowbell onto our bell. I know that's an unconventional use of a cowbell. Usually they're used for percussion. But like we could have we could have put the cowbell onto the cow and it would have been like sweet, sweet irony or something. I don't know. I mean like Alanis Morissette style irony, not not the real kind. But yeah. Um Alright. Um let's let's do some uh some unloading of things now. Um, the ground, everything, everything go to the ground. All right. Other part of ground, um, everything go to the ground. Ha ha. It's raining. How dare it do that to us? We're going to be all so upset by the rain. Man, speaking of, like, the way the game used to be, remember when it rained all the time? Like, always, pretty well it was raining? And then you'd just be always upset until you made clothes that could sustain... that, that uh, were waterproof, and then you'd be all happy because you had clothes, but, you know. Until then, you were, like, real sad. Yeah. Yeah. That was hard. That was hard. It's tough. Cracklins! Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh, so many cracklins. Do we have milk still? Probably not, right? Oh, we do! And it's still okay. It's not It's not totally spoiled yet. All right. We're feeling good. So what's next? I don't know what's next. I got no idea. Um, we could look at our suit again. We need to clean some stuff. We have um, water in the back. So let's do that. Let's Let's grab everything that's filthy. All, every, every single filthy thing here. All of it. Can't carry it all. No. Well, we'll, we'll leave the canteens and... You know what? Screw it. Do it this way. Hey, we're almost at a thousand. That's how you know we're winning. We're almost at a thousand, a thousand, uh, liters of stuff now. Filthy everything, please. Okay. Um, and then we want to pick up a washboard. What? Or a, uh, a kit? Um, um... A wash kit? Do we not have a washboard? Oh, we never did. We never did any cleaning, so we need to make a washboard. Okay. And then we need to make a washing kit. Uh, we use the sponge since we picked it up specifically for that purpose. Then we'll take the washing kit. And we'll also take a whole bunch of soap because we have so much soap. We have 440 soap, and that's that's slightly excessive, but oh well. Oh, come on. Really? Dragging the talking doll, fine, whatever. Go. All right, all right. Wash kit. All these things, please. Done. Okay, okay. Uh, we're very hungry again somehow. Milk. Raw milk. Mmm. Delicious and slightly sickening. Okay. Um, now, we're going to reactivate our torch. That might have gone out when we went outside into the rain. That's not how ever-burning torches are supposed to work. They're supposed to, like, shrug off the rain. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Towers are so scary. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're totally, totally terrifying. 
But we also have like l big guns, and we're gonna have more big guns, and we're gonna have armor, and we're gonna have a vehicle, and and yeah, we'll we'll we'll. we'll I've never actually taken on a tower. I don't know what to expect at all. But I assume I'll be okay, right? Because um, that's how you survive, is by assuming you'll be okay, even when you probably won't be. Um, right, so... What's next? We just clean things. We have to disassemble the vest. Vest. Oh, we have two of them. Cool. Okay, we'll disassemble the one that's in worse shape, I guess. Okay, we failed to recover stuff, but I think we still got a vest, right? Um, all? Um, um, inventory? Yeah, empty ballistic vest. That's what we need. Okay, survivor suit. Okay, good. Uh, so all we need now is, um, to get our arc welder powered up. For some reason, that's interesting, it doesn't have, um... It doesn't have the acetylene torch on here. So you actually need an arc welder. I'm glad I picked that up. I was considering not picking one up, but I, I did. So we'll butcher up a curtain. We don't have any curtains. No way. Oh, a sheet, of course. Butcher up a sheet. Nine rags. Ugh. Sheet. Nine rags. One more. Sheet. Okay. Now... Survivor suit. What am I missing now? Nothing! We can do it. It'll take only eight times as long as normal and only 15.6 times as likely to incur failures because we don't have proficiencies. And, and, and interestingly enough, it seems like it is going to work despite our lack of an arc welder, which is interesting. Maybe it's because we know we have, that, that we have enough batteries or something. Anyway, we'll, we'll reload it. Okay. Um... All right, have a good one, GDOM. Enjoy your workplace. I'm sure work is delightful as it is for us all, but yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to make the thing. I'm going to make the thing despite the fact that, oh, we have a soldering iron. It was going to let us use that. Okay, fair, I guess. Arc welder. Yeah, GDOM. Thanks for stopping by, by the way. I appreciate you, like, doing that in the morning. Morning's usually a good time to just kind of like, uh, I don't know. All oh, right, we need fire. We, we've gone too long without starting a fire. Oh, look at that. It's so fiery and, and nice and fiery. Let's eat some more cashews. Okay. It's going to take so long. It's amazing. It's going to take so, so, so long. Maybe what we should, like, do is is be smart and, like, craft something slightly simpler first to get the proficiencies up. Uh, like, if we got leather working, for instance, or waterproofing or something, we could probably find, like, some useful, like, bag to make or something that'll just have waterproofing. But oh well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ignore that for now and just get some sleep, and then we'll figure it out tomorrow. I want to put out the torch. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, sleep. Big brain move. I have no idea what you mean. We've been using all of our brain the entire day. <laughs> A Miller emote. Oh, dude. Yeah, awesome. Good stuff. We're famished? How'd that happen? We've been, like, eating like champions. I hope we don't have, like, a parasite from the milk or something. Uh, that wouldn't be good. Our cow... We're keeping our cow in pristine conditions in his barn. How could he possibly have parasites? Shouldn't happen. I don't know about you, but I trust... I trust in the cow. I think the cow will not steer us wrong. It's the game that's wrong, not the cow. Yes, sir, Bob. Meat jerky. Yum. Cheese. Cheese. Clean water. Oh, yeah. Well, you always got to trust cows, right? Like, they just sit there. Go. Mmm. 
I mean, how do you not trust something that, like, its entire life revolves around doing those two things? Like, chewing grass very, very slowly and mooing, you know? It's just, it's, like, such a simple life. I... The cow's, the cow's in the barn, though. I put the cow in the place where the cow belongs. I put it in the barn. Oh, I see what you did there, De DeCantos. That was, yeah, that was good. That was real good. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, MP3 player. Um, now we're gonna do the thing where we finish our suit, maybe? Or, like, are we gonna do the thing where we decide to make something smart that's, like, an in-between stage between our inability to make anything useful in a suit? I don't know. Uh, what do we actually want? Is there anything here that we actually want? That's the first thing we should be thinking about. Um, ankle ammo pouch could be useful. We can put, like, one magazine there. We could put one on each ankle and just kind of, like, have two of those, and then they'll have magazines. That'll take eight hours, but we'll get, uh, fabric waterproofing out of it. Eh, it's an option. What else is there? Um, r rifle cases are actually kind of tempting for leather working. If we got like a leather double rifle case or something, um, but I don't know. That's, oh, it's only two leather. No, it's nine leather or yeah, it's seven leather patches. I mean, that's, uh, I don't know. Don't love it. Don't love it. Now we have a pistol, but we don't have a holster. We probably want a holster. That, that's a thing that makes sense. Holster would be level, leather working probably. So let's, let's check that out. Holster. Uh, it is leather working. Seven hours. Perfect. Oh yeah, torch. Okay, so... We want to use the one that requires less leather, please. Plastic buttons. Ch nothing but cheap buttons for my holster. You only dislike your ex-wife's mouth sounds? Well, that's weird, Ducantos. She had real nice mouth sounds last night. Oh! Oh! Look what I just did. Oh. Okay, and I'm famished again. Um, very famished. Um, maybe I should, like, <laughs> get some more milk. Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I sure did get him. <laughs> okay. Um, since we're slaked, we probably don't want to, like, drink milk. We probably want to eat one of these things instead. So let's have um, wet cat food. No, let's not have wet cat food. Ravioli. That's delightful. We'll have two two raviolis. We're still hungry. Um, we could just, like, start eating butter like a madman. I, I, I usually get there pretty quick by most campaigns. So let's let's eat butter like a madman. Let's do that. That'll keep us less hungry, probably. Um, and then we want to... Uh, we have our holster. We want to wear our holster. Oh, okay, that's great. Activate it and see what kind of pistols we have to put in it. We have a few. Where are you, pistols? Hmm. I could swear we had a few pistols. We totally did, because we, like, used the pistols early on to survive and so on. Glock 22. That was our main pistol. There we go. Okay. Um, now, what's our leather working at? That's the next question. 22%. We got a whole 15% out of that. That was good. <laughs> Vitamins are the only thing you've eaten for a week? Oh, jeez. Did you start XXL? Multivitamins. The pog emote? I have no idea. <laughs> is there a pog emote? Is that a thing? Is that a pog emote? Is this, is this one a pog emote? Is that what that is? <laughs> <laughs> well, you should get on it, man. You should tap that market, like, 
if people don't have pog emotes, they might just use yours out of necessity, right? The people, they need to say pog. <laughs> Pickled meat. Yay. Um, let's get a gallon jug going, maybe. We don't have any empty gallon jugs, really? Well, we'll take the meat, the meat jug. Or the milk jug. Milk jug. That's what it is. Hear that, cow? We're not using it for meat. Not, not, never, ever. We're just gonna milk you like, like, like a good cow. Your horse friends, on the other hand, I don't know. No promises for them. Should really keep the barn closed. See, we got like four horses and a cow. And, and a whole lot of manure. It's delightful. We need to empty the milk, the milk again. We don't want to make that mistake. Okay. Milk cow. Mmm, delicious udder juice. Okay. Is it? Wouldn't horse meat be like super lean, like kind of like kangaroo meat? I would assume. Because of the, the muscularity happening there. I like fatty fatty meats. I like um, lamb and lamb's like my favorite meat. I love lamb. <laughs> big big fan of big fan of the lamb. So we've drank a bunch of milk. Uh, we're gonna keep working on the suit. Oh, it sure is. Especially like you know, like lamb shoulder prepared Greek style. Oh, 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 slow roasted lamb shoulder. Oh. Fuck, now I, now I miss restaurants being a thing. Go out and get some lamb shoulder whenever I want. I suppose I could still, like, like skip the dishes or whatever, or get Uber Eats, but... If. Hey, we never actually checked out Batter Up. That's weird. I guess we just got it at that house just a, just a minute ago there. Okay. Ah, oh, Donner. Yes. Hmm. Actually, that's one thing I really miss. Um, oh, I, I keep like putting, like just taking my eyes away from the screen and ending up famished. Yep. Oopsie. I just put down a nearly full beer way too fast and it, and it decided to erupt on me like a volcano. Um, what I really miss is like the old bar that I used to host karaoke at and hang out at a lot. Um, oh, our bird eggs are old. Maybe we should make some bird eggs while they're while they're not completely destroyed here. We'll just make a bunch of scrambled eggs. Eat those. Um, right. So the uh, there's still eight eggs. Did we do that right? I don't know. Um, Right, place called Pub 340, which is probably never going to reopen at this point, which is very sad. It uh, seems like it was a COVID, uh, COVID uh, uh, casualty, as they say. Um, but right next to it was one of the only halfway decent shawarma places in Vancouver, because Vancouver has incredible, incredible food as long as it's Asian cuisine. Anything Asian, Vancouver just destroys. Like, like best in the world outside of Asia, basically. Um, but as soon as something is like European or Middle Eastern in origin, it's just garbage relative to other big cities. So we have like terrible shawarma places or terrible donor places or whatever you want to call them. Or, or, or like kebab, kebab cases, places. Um, but this one is actually really good. It's called Donair Dude. And um, it was basically the way that I ate vegetables sometimes. Because <laughs> I'm bad at eating vegetables, just in a general sense. Um, but, like, m pretty much every day almost that I went to host karaoke down there, I'd, I'd get myself, like, some, like, lamb or chicken shawarma or something. And just, like, just, just get my vegetable qu quotient out of that. That was that was what kept me going. So, so this is why I keep my... Um, I keep my my character like in in really terrible nutrition because that's exactly how I do. You want steamed pork dumplings, and with soy sauce and sake? Well, you'd you'd better come to Vancouver then, man. 
Oh, ramen. Yeah. No, like Vancouver is like honestly just known for having the very finest Japanese places outside of Japan. And like, like actually for real though. <laughs> like that seems like something people would say about their city when it's bullshit. But in this case, no, no, it's true. And in fact, um, Vancouver played a huge role in the popularization of the um, roll style sushi, which of course is not true sushi if you're, if you're a purist. But uh, so the California roll, for example, was invented not in California or in, in Japan, but in Vancouver. That's, that's, uh, I mean, California rolls are awful, so like, I'm sorry, but, but yeah, it's still kind of neat. Let's do some cough syruping because we're not sleeping very well right now, probably because of our terrible nutrition. Then we'll eat some butter because nothing could go wrong with that. We'll eat a lot of butter. We'll eat like, like two thirds of an entire thingy of butter. Oh yeah. Okay. Now we can sleep, surely. Yeah, Vancouver dim sum is amazing. I still have some like leftover Szechuan food in my fridge. It's real good. You know, the great thing about Vancouver sushi, what makes it amazing, speaking of feeling cheap, is that like here, um, our cheap like dime a dozen on every street corner sushi places, and there are sushi places on basically every street corner, but like, you know, the shitty ones, the, the hole in the wall ones, are about the same quality as really good sushi places anywhere else. Um, so we can actually eat sushi without, you know, it being a really expensive meal. It's, it's more expensive than some things, but like, um, you know, you can get a $10 sushi meal. That's, that's pretty solid here. And there aren't too many, there aren't too many cities. That's true. It's, uh, it's all about the competition. We have so many sushi places that they're all just uh, competing with each other, trying to get, get business, business, as they say. I think they say that, right? Milk the cow. Pour into the container. Oh, wait. I just poured the milk into my endless flask. Um, because I forgot to dump the old milk. Okay. Well, hopefully that means that we only wasted one milk, whereas before we had to dump it on the ground and wasted, like, all the milk. Like, it seems like the, the cows produce 40 milk every day. And, or, yeah, 40 milk, because there's 39 left. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we got a gallon chunk of milk. We're good. <laughs> Gobbling down on a, on a pile of fat? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I, I eat so much, like, uh, tallow. Like, I eat so much tallow in the game. <laughs> like, so much tallow. Just, just, just tallow. <laughs> Who cares about a little bit of temporary, uh, temporary inconvenience for the character? We can, we can eat the thing that makes us fat. It'll be good. Go both, Decantos. Like, read them both, uh, Taekwondo and Ninjutsu. They're good in different situations. Taekwondo's, like, damage. So it's unarmed only. You need to be unarmed to use it, but you get like you do a lot of damage. And ninjutsu has uh, you can use for weapons. Um, there's a lot of weapons that ninj ninjutsu takes, and it's one of the only martial arts that you can use either armed or unarmed. Um, and it really excels with sneaking and first strikes. Like you can do sneak attack damage and stuff. So like depending on the situation, you might want one or the other. And so like just hold on to both and you can switch back and forth that would be my advice anyway um piercing bolt do we want piercing bolt um that is an earth shaper ability i'm not sure what the the uh the opposite ability to earth shaper is but it seems pretty good right like max level we can do 50 damage at 26 range with like very little casting time so that seems good i want a piercing bolt i'm gonna piercing bolt we're going to be an Earth Shaper. We're going to be an Earth Shaper Headroom. Max Earth Shaper Headroom. Okay, so that will lock me out of Technomancer. Oh, no. Oh, dear. We have a choice. We have a decision time. What do you guys think? We can, like, we can, we can use Earth Shaper or we can keep ourselves open to being Technomancers, which might be cooler. I don't know.
yeah, Headroom has to be a Technomancer, doesn't he? Like, that's kind of like the requirement for Max Headroom. He has to be a Technomancer. Yeah, okay, okay. No. Y yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Starp. Hey, Starp, are you new around here? I don't remember seeing your name much. You've, you've been, like, uh, talking since we were talking about Donaires and other stuff. But, like, it just clicked with me that, that I don't think I've seen your name around here. So, like, welcome. Unless I'm being an idiot, which I probably am being, in which case, don't not welcome, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah, yeah, yeah welcome to the channel. It's good to have you. Um, okay, so where are we? We have a torch. We are going to maybe keep this ammo belt intact for now so that if we do want a vehicle mount and a weapon at some point, we have, like, a, a pretty good belt for it. And that might That might be good. You just came here. You've dropped by in the past a few times. Well, that's cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I've, I've always been bad with names. Um, so I'm probably like forget people's names more often than not, but you know, we try, we try, we do our best. Eat a pudding. We do our best to eat a pudding. And then we're going to keep working on our, uh, amazing suit, our suit of survival. Survivor suit. Go. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. I love, love, love Active Chat. Oh, you found it in Reddit? Like, um, from the, the, the beginners uh, thing? The, 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 the come here for beginners post weekly thing? Was that it? <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm being all like, I'm, I'm being very, um, very nosy here. Um, awesome. That's, that's fantastic. So the very first day I ever did a Cataclysm stream, which was like my second day of streaming period about a month and a half ago, I made a post on on the, the Cataclysm Reddit saying, "Hey, I'm streaming Cataclysm for the first time. I won't make a habit of like like clogging up your 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 subreddit with these posts, but I'll do it once." And then um what's his name? Orange Orange something? Oh no. Why am I so bad with names? Anyway, he has good playthroughs. Orange something. Um <laughs> He, he suggested in the comments of that that I ask the mods to put me on the, uh, the new players list. And I said, well, I only have like two episodes out, so, so I'll wait a while and then I'll do it. And I did. And, and like two or three weeks later, I had like 30 episodes. So I, uh, I sent the mods a, a message and uh, got on the thing. And hey, dividends. Yes, Orange 01. That's right. Good guy. Like he, I, I posted this op this like awkward topic in the subreddit being like, Hey, I don't know if I should be posting here. I'm kind of new or whatever. And he posted a reply being like, no, no, you're doing nothing wrong. We love, we love streamers. We love new people, you know, welcome to post here and all that. And that's very nice. It's always nice to like, when you feel kind of awkward about something to have someone come along and go, no, you have no reason to be awkward ever. So anyway, that's a long story, short way of saying I like that guy. So that's all. <laughs> and also ugly if you're still around like message the mods in the uh the the cataclysm subreddit and get your stuff on the uh new players list it's cool apparently it works sometimes all right survivor suit survivor suit survivor suit suit you like trains hey me too um, one game that someday I'm going to play when I'm okay with having zero viewers because it's very unpopular and I'm pretty sure I won't get a single viewer for it <laughs> unless people, unless people like me enough to stick around or something, um, is, uh, Railroad Tycoon 3. So one of these days, it is my favorite Railroad Tycoon game, um, of all the Railroad Tycoon games of which there are three. And, um... <laughs> And no one seems to like it. They seem to prefer two for the most part, but but I I don't know. I like three. So it, it it's fifteen years old and it's like doesn't have a big fan base. And one of these days I'll stream it because that's what I do. You know, it'll be good. It'll be, it'll be real good. Real 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 good. <laughs> okay, so I want to finish this suit before I do other things. I keep distracting myself. All right, very hungry again. More canned meat, maybe? Something, something. Um, what was I eating before? Yeah, it was the canned meat. Okay, good. 
It's probably best that I don't like subsist entirely on on milk, especially when the milk is like kind of making me sick every once in a while. Yeah, sim games are nice for that for sure. It, it, like that is one of those things with like I was doing a um, a series for um, Suzerain, and I was really enjoying it. You know, like I I like Suzerain like as a first playthrough game, but it's a narrative. It's a narrative game, right? So it's like not well suited to to let's plays. And it was doing decent numbers on YouTube, actually. And and I, when I say decent numbers, like nothing I do does decent numbers on YouTube. Like I'm, I have not gotten off the ground on that platform. But it was doing better numbers than my other series. But on Twitch, it was just dead. Like I couldn't. Like I mean, Workers and Resources Soviet Republic does have some degree of community, but Suzerain, I couldn't get any viewers at all. So someday I will finish the series. I don't want to leave it hanging forever, but I haven't touched it in a couple weeks now. It was a fun series, though. I feel like I'm going to be deposed very quickly. Like, I'm, I'm in real hot water. I've got way too many enemies, not nearly enough friends, and I was, I was trying to, like, you know, stand up for the people and, 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 and empower the people and all that. And turns out empowering the people generally not the best political strategy, uh, typically. So, you know... Uh, I, I tried though. It is a delicate balance. Yeah. Um, and I mean, that's, that is probably the biggest sort of ongoing mistake I've, I've been making, uh, or I was making was, um, maybe not being quite, quite, uh, ready to, to like lie blatantly to people's faces to make them do what I want them to do. You know, maybe, maybe, oh, shh. Did I just do that again? Well, endless fa endless flask of milk it is. No. No, that's not what I told you to... <sighs> Whatever. Unload. Unload the gallon jug. Like that judge lady. I should have, like... I should have lied to her. I should have lied through my teeth, but I didn't. It was terrible. I need to learn to lie better. That's the way in politics. So I have a feeling like the playthrough is probably pretty close to being done anyway, just because things aren't going that well. But I just I just put it down, didn't pick it back up again. At least not yet. It is a really cool game, Suzerain. Like, it's neat. It, it's not a game I could ever see myself putting, like, 100 hours into or whatever, but, like, it's really, really cool for just, like, doing the one, like, one playthrough and seeing the plot unfold and, um, yeah, it's, it's well written. Like, I thought, I thought it was, I thought it was, generally speaking, games that deal with politics do not do it well. Like, for the most part, um, like, electoral politics and, well, politics in general are very difficult to sim because it's it's like such a chaotic system, right? There's so many var variables, but Suzerain seemed to capture that chaos fairly well compared to most things I've seen. Let's eat some more butter. We're like really doing poorly on this eating thing. And then we'll eat some like multivitamins maybe. That seems good. We are underweight at this point. Okay. Do making a survivor suit, making a survivor suit. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. Survivor suit, survivor suit. Uh, 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 uh. Survivor suit. Hey, our cabbage is old. We'd better eat it, even though we hate it. Yeah. We'll eat the pumpkin, too. We hate that, too. But, like, you know, we're, we're, we're gluttons for punishment. Both gluttons and punishment. Okay. Survivor suit. Oh, we're going to be so protected. So, so... Why are we famished again, man? We're, like, starving or something. Maybe we have another one of those stomach parasites or something. I don't know. Meat soup, please. 
Bacon, please. All right. St still hungry, uh, and our milk's rotten. I think the main reason we're starving so much is I'm underestimating how difficult this uh, survivor gear is to make without proficiencies. So it's just taken, like, way too long, and that's allowing our food to crash while we're, while we're making it. Moderately wary and unhappy. Well, let's listen to music. That'll make us happy, right? Let's reload this MP3 player here. Boom. Happy. Hey, Pemus. Make the game font bigger, more readable. Okay. Um, I can check into it. Maybe I'll try doing that now. That's a fair, a fair feedback. And I, I do very, very much appreciate the feedback, you know? Like, I appreciate you uh, letting me know. That didn't work at all, did it? No. No, it really didn't work at all. I thought it was going to do the thing. Okay. Uh, let's try this again. Um, that was 8 and 16 and 16. So what's the other one? If these are like font, and that's map font, and that's over map font. Um, don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Um. Yeah, I mean, this is what we did before, right? We went 10, 18, 18. So why isn't that working? 10, 20, 20? That doesn't seem to be working. Um... I'm not really sure how to do the font thing. I know there is a way. I should probably look at it while I'm not streaming and maybe change it for next time. Ah, requires a restart. That makes sense. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll look into it for next time. Um, sorry I couldn't get that fixed right away for you, Pimas. Okay. Uh, pork and beans. And then we will continue the survivor suit. Suit, 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 suit. Ah. Let's eat something. We're trying to do better. We're trying to eat things before we get, like, famished. So we're going to eat, like, a giant stack of butter again. Because butter is delicious. I love butter. Oh, man. Oh, man. You don't even need bread. You just need the butter. It's good. so good. So, so, oh, God. So, oh. <laughs> Back to lurking. Well, like I, I appreciate everyone here. Like lurk, lurk and chatting, whatever it is, it's it's wonderful. Uh, um, yeah, no, I want to stop. I don't want to be dead tired. Let's let's sleep. Uh, let's extinguish our torch, and then we'll uh, stop the MP3 player, and then we'll we'll go over here, and we'll 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 we'll, we'll sleep. Yeah, to sleep, but to dream. Wow, so it's such a weird thing, like sleeping and not having messages about serving the Hive Queen, you know? Bug Boy, may he rest in peace. He was our, he was our, he was our glorious bugbear, and now he is gone. Oh, poor, poor Bug Boy. Bug, bug, bear, bear boy, ba bear bug. Just a bear bug. Torch, MP3 player food um peaches in syrup that's delightful absolutely delightful and some cheese can't go wrong with cheese maybe some water oh tank with 100 mutagen yeah that's beautiful i i um you could be like be like the bug bear and just like down it all and then wherever you end up you end up and he ended up as a bug even though he wanted to be a bear and thought of himself as a bear um, but that was because of all the mutagen. You just just drink it, just drink it, and then you, you become what you become. And then you can't wear armor anymore, probably, or, like, other stuff like that. But, oh, man. 
Or you could like take your hundred mutagen and craft like super specific uh, types of mutagen out of it, and then become whatever you want. Oh well, I mean that's still quite a lot of mutagen, really. It's like thirty, I think. So yeah, good. Oh, fair enough. Running from turret takes priority. That's true. It would have been in a finale room, eh? Probably a big, big tank of mutagen like that. Sounds like a finale room to me. <laughs> so we finished our suit. We have a suit. Uh, we have two suits. Only one of them is a survivor suit, though. So, like... Okay. So let, let's compare these things. Um, survivor suit. Regular suit. So, like, on one hand, regular suit is fancy. Pretty sure. Where is it? Is it, is it fancy? Oh, it's fancy. And survivor suit is not fancy. We like fancy things, much more than non-fancy things. On the other hand, armor values. Very, very different armor values, wherever they are. Are they down somewhere, page down maybe? Oh, there we go. And then tab and then more page. I don't know. How do we get over here and do page down? I, I don't know what the system is. Maybe that one? No, no. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, whatever. I think we want to wear, I think we want to wear the survivor suit. Even though it makes us less fancy, that's very sad. I'm 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 saddened saddened by the the loss of the fancy, but we will we will overcome. We will overcome by wearing a delicious amount of jewelry, so much jewelry, it'll make your head spin. You'll be you'll be tired of the jewelry. Like we have like like hairpins, you know, and a gold medal. We we're like Kurt Angle. We got like a gold medal. Got gold earrings and a silver locket and an engagement ring, like and a gold watch. You know, we're, we're very fancy, I think, right? We are not content with our life. What would we have to be unhappy about? I don't understand. Very confused. Oh well. Right. So we have a suit. Now we have to decide what's next. Um. The suit was defining our life and our goals and our ambitions for a while. And, and now now we are ambitionless and we must decide where to go from here. Um, maybe what we want to do is pack up some of these like various types of jewelry that we don't actually need because we have so much jewelry. And, um, oh, and I'm going to wear that platinum watch. You watch me. I'll wear the platinum watch. 100%. We have two wrists. We can have two watches. One of our watches is gold. The other one is platinum. They're not on the same side, you idiot. Come on. What's the uh, the, the button for switching sides again? I forget. Um, C. Yes. What? Morale stylish is inconsistent. K. Okay. Sure. Got it. Platinum watch and a gold watch. One on each wrist. That's the way to be. We don't have servants yet, so that's probably why we're unhappy. I agree. I agree. We need that. <laughs> four, <laughs> four watches. All the watches. Wear every single watch. Um, let's just get all of our various types of like like fancy things and, and put them all in our inventory. <laughs> we got like so many silver things. We got two signet rings and a silver rings and two silver rings. And... Um, Lots of stuff. Lots of good things. That's like a Casio or something. Ugh. What do you wear, Casio? Ugh. Um, okay. So now we have, like, um, we can wear more stuff, right? <laughs> we only have one pair of earrings on, and they're gold. We need emerald and silver earrings to go next to our gold earrings. Definitely. I think that's really important. Um... Then I'm pretty sure we need that. We need to wear that engagement ring if we aren't already. Oh yeah, we are already. Uh, what, what what do signet rings do? Long time ago, the stamp was. Eh, screw that. We don't have a bracelet on. We'll we'll wear a silver bracelet. I mean, silver's a little bit, a little bit for the common people. But but we'll do our best with it. It's fine. And we'll 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 wear some gold earrings too. Yeah, I know. No, I know what I know what signet rings do. I'm I was thinking more in game, like if they were extra fancy or what. They probably aren't, is what I decided. I decided that they were probably pretty plain compared to the other fancy jewelry. 
So we're just going to bring all the rest of the jewelry over. Um, what else is like worth money? Like, I don't really know what the values are of these things. I mean, certainly jewelry is worth money. Titanium watch. That doesn't sound fancy to me, you know? Titanium sounds more practical. We don't like practical. Oh, Alexandrite and gold earrings. Okay, cool. So we're going to take all these fancy fancies over to the, the forge, and we're going to see what, what forge guy is going to trade us for them. I think forge guy is going to give us lots of things because they're so fancy. And, you know, he works in a forge, right? Like, he likes fancy things too, I'm sure. There we go. Let's get some more volume in here. Need eight gold necklaces? Why eight? Why stop there? You're right, though. We should wear more of this jewelry. We have too little jewelry on right now. Oops. Did I do that? I just crushed a fern, and I feel awful about it. What would the little, little fern children think? It's because I need to save room for 12 ruby necklaces? Probably. Yeah, that seems, that seems like something I'd do. Or, it seems like something Max Headroom would do, at least. Headlights. Stop driving. All right, Forge guy, what do you have for me this time? Hopefully not violence. Please don't have violence for me. I don't want that. All right, Forge Lord. Let's trade. Um. That's awkward. It's like leather backpack, three items, 210. I bet you those three items are like my jewelry. But the jewelry isn't showing up here. Because it's in containers. That's so annoying. It's only the stuff I'm wearing. Pardon me. That's showing up. Like this sleeveless leather duster. 29 items. $321. God damn it. The nested container system is messing up trade. Clearly. Well, I mean... I'm kind of alright trading the Glock. Because we can get another Glock. What I really want though is this greater dimensional tool belt. And we don't seem to have enough value to actually get that yet. So that's a shame. Um, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna get like eleven hundred and fifty six dollars worth of stuff. And I wish I knew what the Oracalum cauldron did. It's probably just like some sort of like basic like cooking utensil, right? Then we have scrolls of clairvoyance, cold, ice spike, and ogre strength. I do like Ice Spike. That reminds me of, of, of an old character of mine that died trying to cast Ice Spike and having very against the odds uh, bad rolls happen repeatedly. So we could get like a scroll of Ice Spike that would teach us how to Ice Spike. Oh, you're right, Raven. I bet I bet you heroin's worth money. Um that's that's what the kids say anyway. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um but like yeah, we, we I mean, look how much money he gave us or how much like amazing things he gave us for the nicotine gum. He obviously likes nicotine, so like Oh, escape boots are cheap. Let's do some escape boots trading. Screw you, I Spike. I want escape boots. Um, then we could trade him the gold watch that's in our inventory. That's a thing. Um, what else? We didn't like that titanium watch. We sneered at it. We were too good for the titanium watch. Okay, so we can do like 27 more dollars worth of stuff. Cauldron of Purification. I wonder if that's like some fancy way of washing things. I don't know. Mm okay. I kind of want like 
one of these scrolls at least. Like, Ice Spike's a really good spell because it's just a basic direct damage spell. Um... Maybe we want to trade emerald and silver earrings. Maybe. And a titanium watch. Is that right? We're going to get ice spike and escape boots. Um, we should also get some crystallized mana. Because the crystallized mana is probably necessary to charge up the escape boots. Are you going to trade me that? Like, notice the debt. Like, he's he's willing to trade stuff that isn't a fair deal. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. He's willing to give me more stuff than than uh, than should be fair because I am I am max headroom and I am crazy charismatic. I got all the charisma in the universe. So let's like see if we can milk him for like all he's worth or something. I don't know. Twenty five crystallized mana. Willing to do that? Yeah, he is. Man, he's going to, like, give me the farm, right? 100, 100 crystallized mana. Oh, he's willing to extend $8 in credit to me. That's cool. Okay, so let's go with 40. That's 875. Okay, well, let's go with, uh, let's go with 35. Ah, uh, 30, 32. Ha, $7.95, baby. All right. I better, I better, if I'm going to finger gun, though, like, I have to, like, do it right, you know? Okay. Okay, that was, that was it. That was the one. That was the one right, right there. Right there. Uh, okay. Well, bye. Okay, so, how do these boots work? What do these boots do? Rugged, yet extremely comfortable, and well-fitting boots of worn leather and steel. We probably could have, like, sold him the uh, dress shoes, you know, while we were getting these boots. These boots can be activated once per day to escape from nasty situations, teleporting you a good distance in a random direction. Well, that seems, like, pretty cool, you know? Like, I like that. Um, they have decent stats, too. Like, a little more warmth than I'd like, but, like, Decent enough protection. Some environmental protection's good. Uh, only eight encumbrance is pretty nice. So we we totally could have traded him these like fancy ass dress shoes. Um, I mean, our, Max Headroom is gonna start getting upset that we're taking away all his fancy things and putting on practical survival gear instead. But you know, he'll he'll learn to love it. I'm sure he will. So now let's reload the the the, the fancy ass escape boots. Where where's the reload for them? I don't know. Uh, I escape boots. Um, um, reload maybe. Reload. Can't reload an escape boots. Okay, so we probably have to apply the mana crystals. Wait a minute. Where are the mana crystals? Wait a minute. Did we just get? Did we get ripped off? Oh, no, there they are. Crystallized mana, 32. Activate. What? Is it not going to let us, like... It can be reloaded into rechargeable mana crystals, but can never be unloaded. Yes, I understand that. So, this says 0 out of 1 crystallized mana. So, so how do we do this, then? If we can't reload that, we can't reload an escape boots, and we can't activate a crystallized mana... Do we activate that? It has zero charges, but needs one. So we can't activate the escape boots or reload them, and we can't activate the mana to load it. Oh no. Somebody didn't finish coding the thing to make the thing work. Uh oh no. Our boots are useless, people. They're useless. We might as well wear dress shoes. Jeez. Mm. Okay. All right, people. Like this game. All right. On that note, we have fancy new escape boots that don't do anything. So I'll see you later, YouTube. Bye-bye.